Imagine you're taking a nice warm shower during your stay on Mars while it's minus 20 degrees outside. Not bad, right? Now imagine the water that just went down the drain being reused to produce rocket fuel which will be used for your return to Earth. This may sound a little too far-fetched and perhaps even unrealistic, but this is exactly what a team of engineers in Spain is planning to do. The fuel in question is methane, which is used in combination with oxygen as a propellant mixture for several rocket engines such as SpaceX's Raptor engine. Methane is a really good fuel choice for Mars because it is more or less easily obtainable through a process known as the Sabatier reaction. This is an exothermic reaction that allows the creation of methane using hydrogen and CO2. And guess what? The atmosphere of Mars is made up of mainly CO2. Now, a team from Spanish technological center Technica is working together with the European Space Agency on a reactor powered by sunlight that will produce rocket propellant on Mars using the planet's air and the astronauts' wastewater. And this is how it works. The wastewater will be split up into oxygen and hydrogen, and then the hydrogen will be mixed with a carbon dioxide taken from the atmosphere to create a methanation, aka a Sabatier reaction. And this reaction will yield methane and also fresh water, which can be reused again. Moreover, the oxygen obtained after splitting the water molecules can be stored, liquefied, and used as the fuel oxidizer for the rocket engines. Now, more than developing the hardware necessary to produce propellant and mass on Mars, the biggest issue rather lies in sourcing all the hydrogen that is required. I guess the two best options are to transport as much water as possible from the Earth all the way to Mars, maybe with the help of tanker starships filled with water, and also to separate the hydrogen from Martian sources of water, such as the ice caps in both poles or the little water vapor that still lingers in the Martian air. I also found a really interesting paper from the University of Washington about a reactor that aims at extracting water vapor from the Martian atmosphere. I will place the link to it in the description box down below so you can read more about it if you are interested. So overall, an up and coming technology that is being worked on here in Europe that could provide precious input on the production of propellant not only on Mars but potentially on other planets as well. And it could even provide valuable information on how to decarbonize our own atmosphere here on Earth. Imagine taking a shower or flushing the toilet knowing that your fluids will become rocket fuel to power a starship all right i'm going off the rails here thanks for watching have a nice day and i will see you all very soon take care bye bye